All right, we're going to finish up uh, the semester um, talking about ratio and proportion and variation. Um, some of this uh, we're already familiar with. In fact, we had to use ratios uh, when we worked with similar triangles. We know that um, we could sort of see um, the trig functions as ratios of sides of a right triangle. So we have some familiarity with this concept already. Um, a ratio is just a quotient or a fraction. It's a way of comparing two quantities by division. And when we talk about the ratio of A to B, that is equal to A over B. The order matters, right? So if they wrote A first, that means that A goes on top. Um, and you might also see ratios written like this, although it's less common in mathematics, I think, to write it this way. So we'd say A to B. Um, it's customary to use whole numbers when possible with the ratio, just like with fractions, you know, to reduce. Um, so if the length of a room is 30 feet and the width is eight feet, uh, sorry, 18 feet, what is the ratio of length to width? So the order matters again. So length to width means I need the length on top. The length is 30 feet. The width is 18 feet. And we can reduce. Note that feet over feet cancel, right? So there's not going to be any units here. Um, 30 is equal to 5 times 6. Uh, 18 is 3 times 6, so those 6 is cancel. And we get 5 thirds, or 5 to 3 is the ratio. There are no units on a ratio. Um, a proportion is simply a, a statement or an equation that, that sets two ratios equal to each other. And it's really an equation that is that simple. There's no other terms that we're adding. It's just one fraction, like one side of the equation is a single fraction. The other side of the equation is a single fraction. And if your equation has that form, so there's no other terms involved, um, then you could set the cross products equal to each other. Um, so as an example here, a certain alloy is five parts tin and three parts lead. How many grams of each are there in 40 grams of the alloy? So it might seem at first like we want to make a ratio of tin to lead, but what we know is that we have 40 grams of the alloy. That's like a total, right? That's not just tin and that's not just lead. Um, so this is a total. So what I think I'll do is make, um, is make ratios of um, the amount of tin compared to the total amount in the alloy. So we want to know how many grams of each are there in 40 grams of the alloy. So t as a total, I've got 40 grams. Let's say x grams of those are tin. And I know that this is equal to, now over here, this ratio, 5 parts tin and 3 parts lead, that means there's 8 parts total. So this ratio is 5 over 8. Um, we can certainly take uh, the cross products if you want to use theorem 7. If you do that, um, we end up with 8x equals 200. And then uh, we can divide both sides by 8. And we get uh, 25, and this would be grams of 10. Um, of course, you didn't have to uh, use the cross products. So if I were looking at this equation, I think it's you know probably simpler to just say, oh, let's multiply both sides by 40, um, and that already gets x by itself, and 8 goes into 45 times, and 5 times 5 is 25. So either way, we get that same result of 25 uh, grams of 10. We want to know how many grams of each there are in the alloy. So if there's 40 grams total, then of course uh, we're going to subtract the 25 grams of 10, and that gives us 15 grams of lead.